This is an introduction to SpecAir, a leading software for analyzing plasma radiation. SpecAir lets you calculate an emission or absorption spectrum by simply clicking a button. Automatic optimizations to experimental spectra can be performed and are explained in other SpecAir tutorials available on the website. The mathematical models have been verified in many publications and use a range of input parameters which are all located in the left bar. The first section lists the temperatures. The translational temperature is the macroscopic temperature of the gas, whereas the other three temperatures represent the statistical distributions of the electronic, vibrational, and rotational states. Next is the pressure of the gas and the unit, followed by the wavelength range that is used in the calculations. The calculation settings contain parameters that pertain to the calculations in SpecAir. Usually, the composition of the gas is specified by the user in the mole fraction sections below, but for air at atmospheric pressure, SpecAir can automatically calculate these instead by setting Generate Mole Fractions to Yes. Self-absorption can be turned on if the plasma is not optically thin. The emission lines can be displayed directly, but for comparisons with experimental spectra, the common option is to convolve those data with the experimental slit function. The slit function will be described later in this video. SpecAir uses a high internal resolution when calculating the spectral lines, but when analyzing and displaying data, fewer points are more than sufficient and much faster to work with. The speed display reduces the number of points based on the slip function width, and this option should generally be on. The wavelength values can be those in air or vacuum, and the final calculation option specifies the width of the plasma in centimeters. The mole fractions describe the gas composition. All common species in air can be selected, and the values should be between 0 and 1. For a full description, they should add up to 1, but the number only needs to be non-zero if a transition for that species is calculated. SpecAir can calculate the emission or absorption for all main transitions in air plasmas. To select a transition, set the corresponding value to 1. Several transitions can be selected by setting them all to 1. The last section in the calculation options allows the user to add room air absorbers to take into account the absorption from air between the plasma and the spectrometer, the path length and mole fractions for water, oxygen, and carbon dioxide can be adjusted. After a spectrum has been calculated, such as the one here, it is added to the list of all the spectra in the current project in the left panel. We can change the name and by selecting a spectrum we can see the parameter values that were used to calculate it in the panel below. In addition to the calculation options, we can add our own comments for each spectrum in the middle bottom panel. We can also see what the electronic populations were in each state and see the total power emitted. The last tab lists the units for the different calculations. Both the emission and absorption spectra will be plotted on the same graph, but the units will differ. To calculate an absorption spectrum, select Absorption under the Spectrum Type in the Tools menu. In the same Tools menu, we can also change the slit function, which represents the broadening of lines during the measurement. You can choose between using a trapezoidal slit function or an imported slit function. If you use an experimentally determined slip function, make sure to cut data, such as excessive wings, which can introduce anomalies during convolution. To get the right units, it's also necessary to properly normalize the slip function. Next in the Tools menu are the speed display options, which specify how many points should be plotted in the spectrum. A resolution of 10 points per full width half maximum of the slip function is generally sufficient. The remaining options in the Tools menu relate to the automatic fitting of spectra, which is described in detail in other videos. SpecAir not only calculates spectra, but also provides many functions to facilitate the analysis and presentation of them, so SpecAir can be used as a standalone editor for experimental data. The Data menu has options for normalizing your spectrum, for quickly finding minimum and maximum values, and for adjusting experimental offsets. By selecting regions with the markers, we can also crop book spectrum. By adding spectra, we can combine contributions from several transitions after the fact, and by subtracting one spectrum from another, it is possible to discover minor underlying features. 
The appearance of the plot is changed by selecting options under the plot menu. Many of these options can also be accessed directly by double clicking on the feature you want to change. In this case, we can change the trace to markers instead of a continuous line. We can also change the background, add a legend, and a title before changing the wavelength scale to show the section we want. This plot can be copied directly to other programs. The raw data can be accessed under the data menu and shown in a table, and the data can also be exported in several file formats for further use in other applications. To summarize, Specair provides a complete toolbox for calculating, manipulating, and fitting various spectra. Please try Specair, which is available for download at spectralfit.com.